Hey everybody, it's me again, and I'm going to cover with you an exciting topic about uh, segues in storyboards. By the end of this video, hopefully you'll <laughs> you know everything you need to know about uh, segues, at least, you know, intermediate, beginner to intermediate, maybe a little bit of advanced, all right? So what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about what is a segue, kind of a segue, kinds of segues, properties of a segue, transitions, how you do, how you go from one screen to another using segues, and how we prepare to move to another screen, from one screen to another screen, and uh, passing information using segues back and forth. And we will talk about how to execute segues conditionally. And the last thing, how we execute segues programmatically. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start Xcode. We're gonna create a new app. And we're gonna know, call it all you need, all about segues, right? So it's a single view app. You say all about segues. All right, and then you click on next. And then create, all right? So now if you go to this storyboard, let's start talking about this, these segues. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it, can maximize the screen. I'm gonna do this here, this part. All right, what we have in here, we have a view controller. Sometimes you wanna go from one screen to another screen. So we're gonna add another view controller. Okay, so I'm gonna have, this is, would be my screen one, and that is associated with this view controller. This is screen two, and I'm gonna make a new class and tie it with this screen, all right? Now, you can give titles to the view controller, so I'm gonna give this is main or first view controller, okay? This one would be my second view controller. Okay. And I'm gonna put, just to show you how we're gonna pass information back and forth, I'm gonna put a text field here, uh, a, a button first that takes me to this screen, a label that we're gonna bring in information from the other view controller, and I'm gonna put a text field here, okay? All right, so this, label, this uh, button is gonna say, try me. All right, let's make it a little bit bigger. And this label, leave it as nothing right now. And password. Here we're gonna put in the placeholder password, okay? What is the password to enter, to go to the next screen? Okay, I'm gonna make this one as a little bit, uh, you could use the background, different background, so you can see. Uh, here's in the view, different background like this color so we're done so that's what we have all right and you can change the background color of the view if you want to so looks okay i know i'm spending too much time on design it doesn't matter okay now i'm going to take this label and this button here and command copy and i'm going to put them here command v and i'm going to change one thing here instead of try me says here we're going to say back all right and that's it so what are we going to do we gonna when we click on this button the first thing the first part we're going to do is that we're going to go to the screen in the and then we're going to talk about this segue and the different way you can present this view controller and i'm going to make the background of this guy different color so you can see uh you can see uh, maybe this is not good all right this is okay and this one i'm gonna make it yellow so just to see the different when we do transition you see the different kinds okay all right and uh, the other part that we need we need a class for this view controller so what i'm going to do i'm going to click uh, file new and file new command n <laughs> And then we're gonna say it's a Coca Touch class, and then click next. 
and uh, it is has to be UI view controller and I'm gonna call this is second view controller okay and then click on next create and then the last part we need to tie this screen with that view controller we just have which is identity inspector here and then you select second view controller all right okay the last the other part that we have to do probably is this outlets we have to create the outlets for these labels all right so what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna this one here i'm gonna create uh, editor assist right click Pass here, this is txt pass, and then okay, and this is lbl, lbl1, okay. All right, that's it. And then you do the same thing with this guy. We have, notice I haven't done anything with these buttons, right? Uh, the other thing that you could do is that you could do is with this guy here, you say uh, you want to uh, do the label, okay? So we can say LBL2, all right? Okay, that's it. It took a little bit of time to design it, but I think it's important so you understand how we come, where we're coming from. So what we're going to do in the first part is when we click on this button, I'm gonna go to the screen, all right? So how you do it, is that we have something in here right to click and then you drag it or from here okay you either right click from here to here or uh, you do command i'm sorry control and click all right either one is fine control or right click okay so i'm going to do right click and drag it here what happens in here this what you're doing is that you're creating a segue and here you have the different types now what is a segue it's a segue it's actually coming from music and seeing movies it's like an unter uninterrupted transition from one play from one note to another one note in this case uninterrupted transition from one screen to another screen so that's what a segue so it's a way to move to display another screen using the storyboard okay in the past you used to have to do like can still do it you create a view controller and then you present that view controller okay but with the storyboard that became much much easier now that is a segue now what you do when you do that you get a different type so what you have the different type here we have show which is most of the time that's what you want to use you want to use show details like if you have uh, a, a main screen and then you want to show details about more details about that item that you selected you can use show uh, detail you have uh, present modelly which is basically a way to um, have nice cool transitions we're gonna try that we're gonna try this and then try this okay and then you have pop over okay the pop over is the one that um, you, know, you click on it then a, a pop up from your wherever you or you can do designate like this button for example when you click on it a, a short menu pops up in here if you want to all right uh, that take a little bit of work i'm not going to cover that part uh, and then you have custom transition custom transitions you can have custom uh, segues you can actually have your own custom class and you can do a lot more than just what we're doing what is being selected here all right for the sake of this lecture we're going to cover show and present model all right so that is what is a segue. So now what happens is that you right click and you go in here and I'm going to select first present uh, modeling. All right. Now in the this has a name. This is has a this is an object exactly like an object. So what happened is that you can go in here and then you can select uh, the property of this object. Okay. And then see you could have uh, a custom class. Okay. So you can create a custom class and assign that as your custom class. And you can have your own methods and other functions and then you could inherit of course the functions that comes from the ui storyboard segue so now what you do is that here you can give it a name for example um screen screen two all right and then you can change the kind 
here you can say for example the kind was Mali you can still override it these are deprecated that means they're old and I don't recommend that using them. so we will be using these top one and I already explained this what these are all right the presentation here full screen page sheet form sheet uh, current context okay I, I, we're gonna use a full screen in this one okay I, I, that's another topic all right if you want now the transition that's what we explained we talked about is that you have different transitions and you can again you can do your own transitions if you have a custom class so for example you can say flip horizontally all right so now if you run it what happens is that you you will get an app when you click on this button it will take you to the screen and it will do, it does the uh, the uh, the transition for you. Okay, we're waiting for this to show up. So here it is. Okay, uh, let me close these guys. So what happens? Watch if you do this, you see that flip. And I did the color in purpose so you can see the difference. Okay, so that is the flip. Now what hap How do you go back? How do you go back if you're using Modly? If you're presenting view controller Modly. You have to provide a mechanism for the user to go back. And how do we do this? Okay, so I'm going to go back to the uh, the only way to get out of here is that actually you you exit your application. Okay, so you click on here and then you can cl close. All right. Now, the proper way to go back if you're using Modly is to use unwind segue. It means what? You want to go. You un you want to unwind this action that you took by coming to this screen and the way you do it is that you have to implement a function in here and then we connect this button to this exit button here and then that will take me back but first we have to create a function and then to create a function I, I, okay i'm gonna um go to the view controller and then you need to create a function how do you create a function and then it's going to be an ib outlet function ib action sorry function and you can call it whatever you want back whatever you want to call it and then you can say uh, you need to give it uh, um, parameters the two parameters that you need is a segue or one parameter sorry and then it is UI storyboard the type of it is storyboard segue you see that and that's it that's all we have to do now I can, from this screen, from this screen, I can go back to this screen by simply right click here and connect it to this exit. What you will see is that you will see that function that we just created, okay? So that is what we have, all right? Now, if you run, run it, you will get this. See this, and then it takes you back, all right? That's a nice, cool way, and then it depends on the transition that you're using, okay? So if it is, for example, uh, uh, let me show you here, if you go back to the, so one of, this, one of the transitions here, for example, here is uh, covered vertically. So what happens now, when you run it, it slides up, and then it slides down when you click on back, all right? See this, and you say, you see that, and then it slides back. All right. So that is the uh, that is segues, the type, the transitions, and uh, how to go back to the previous screen using unwind segue. All right. Now the other part that you could do, if you don't want to present modeling, what you could do is that you can present it using a navigation controller, which used to be called push. So if you have a navigation controller, and a navigation controller allows you to put a title, and this is what uh, a lot of the apps on iOS use, uh, it's more, it's, it's cleaner, it's, it's, uh, it, 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 it's organized. And the way you do it is that you select the view controller that where you wanna include the, uh, you can include the uh, navigation controller 
and you just go to the editor here and you say embed in navigation controller now <clears throat> you have this title bar you see that at the, the front and now if you look in here because you're using modelly that navigation controller is not showing so i can say first here first screen for the title but watch if i change the type of this instead of modelly now watch what will happen okay so if i go to the property and i say i want to use show example push okay and that you can use uh, the push or uh, you can use show anytime you want to but uh, if you have a navigation controller then it will give you this nice title bar on top okay and then you can it'll give you the back automatically so now if you run it then what happens you see that and if you go here and then you see you got that back button you could always go back here too if you want and you can try it again and then go back all right so that is the end of the first part in the next part i'm going to show you how we prepare for segways and how we pass information back and forth between these view controllers okay and i'm going to see you in the next video here in a minute